Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 10 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on how to rack your server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 10 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Uh, this video is gonna be specifically focused on how to rack your server, which is a little bit more complicated than it should be, to, to be quite honest. Uh, with Dell, for instance, uh, like the 640 or uh, comparable to this would be the uh, 740 or 740 XD. Um, those servers will have the same rail kit within say the 640 or the 740 and the 740 XD will have the same rail kit and it doesn't matter what the form factor is. So th with HP, that's a really big key that if you have a small form factor uh, drive in the front, the rails are going to be different than if you have a large form factor drive in the front. And essentially because a large form factor drive is a little bit longer, it makes the chassis a little bit longer and they didn't compensate for that with the rails to make sure that one rail fits both sizes. So ultimately what that means is you could buy the wrong rails because someone's telling you it's for a DL380 Gen 10 and, and it is for a DL380 Gen 10, but maybe just not your DL380 Gen 10. And that's the big problem out there and there's a lot of confusion when it comes to the rails. So you need to make sure you're working with someone that actually knows what they're doing and make sure you get the right rail kit that's specific for if you have a small form factor or a large form factor chassis. And that's the main thing that I really wanted to emphasize in this because that is uh, the biggest common user error. And especially if you're in a pinch and you're trying to get something up for a client and you've told them you're gonna do it on Thursday and the rails come in on Tuesday and they're wrong. Now you're having to overnight stuff and rails are you know actually pretty heavy and long so they're not cheap to overnight. So then the next thing you know, you're paying all this extra money just over a simple buying error. So that's the, again, the main thing I wanted to emphasize. So all right, now what we're gonna do is actually show you how to put them into the rack. I put on my ESD gear, we're safe to work on the machine. So first things first, we're gonna put on the left rail kit. So how do you know which one is the left? We're gonna look right here, it's gonna say front L. So the front L you're gonna have facing up in this direction. It always helps to have two people, so Angel's in the back. So Angel, let's do number uh, eight and number nine. And so essentially what we're gonna do here is there's two pegs on the top and the bottom. We're gonna line them up and they essentially just snap right into place or they'll click right into place. So it's right now, if I were to pull the rail kit or shake the rail kit, it's firmly in there. Now, if you wanted to remove it, because I'm sure there's some people that are watching this to try to figure out how do I get the rails out, there's a little lever right here. So if you push this lever, you can actually take the rails back out. So again, I'll just show you how to put them back in into nine and eight, it just clicks back in and the inners will slide out really easy after the fact. All right, so now we're gonna do the right rail kit, which is gonna say front R. So we're gonna line them up in eight and nine again, Angel. So again, you're, we're just gonna put the two pegs in, they clip into place, just line them up in the appropriate U, and they just click right in. And again, the lever right here, if I wanted to remove it, but you can see it's firmly in there. I can shake it, I can move out the inners, and we're good to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the inners out and we're gonna put the uh, the server in. We're also gonna show you uh, how the inners will lock into place and there's some buttons that you have to push if you want to release them. So we'll show you all that along the way. All right, so we're gonna show you the inners right now. So the inners, uh, they're gonna slide out the first piece right here and the second piece right here and it'll click into place. If I try to push this back right now, it is physically locked into place. So what you have to do, there is a blue button on the side right here that you push and then this can slide back into place. But again, it will lock right here. So that is important to note. So we'll go ahead and slide the second inner out as well. And then Angel, go ahead and uh, bring the server up, please. So if you notice right here, um, on the, uh, the server, there are these rivets. Okay, these rivets essentially are what we're gonna line up into the notches. So let's go ahead and uh, line these up. So what we like to do is to line the back ones up first. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, you got yours in? Mm -hmm. All right. Mine go in. All right, once they go in, you can kind of hinge them down and they will lock into place. So right now, nobody's holding the server, it's physically in there, And but now I also can't move it, it's stuck into place because you have to push the inners to be able to push this back in. So let's go ahead and push the inners, Angel. And now the server is in the rack. Now here's the next thing. So you might go, oh, well, how do I get my server out? Because again, it's locked into place. There's all these mechanisms to keep it locked into place. Well, if you want to actually take it out, 
you're going to pull these down and it'll slide back out. Okay, so if you have it in your rack and you're wondering how do I get it out of this, just these two levers right here, you pull them down and now it'll slide back out. So, well, if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. If you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. And thanks again for stopping by, guys. Take care.